Toy Tractor Times is here with William Funk from Grafton, Illinois, who has been at the National a few times. I think you might have taken a trophy home before, too. Uh, 2011 yeah. and 2013. Yeah. Very nice. Congratulations on a second place uh, spot in the uh, large scale division, and uh, really looking forward to learning more about this great display. Okay. So, this is a great looking display. I mean, it looks like wintertime has really set in, and uh, it's all in 132nd scale, which yeah. is different. So uh, what can you, where should we start? Uh, okay, well, I was shooting for late 60s, early 70s time period. Okay. And I wanted to do 132nd, and there's not a lot of tractors out there, you know, in that time period. So I thought, well, I'd do a winter scene where they wouldn't have to be doing a lot. So I made the house that I grew up in, and uh, the barn. Well, let's take a look at the, the house, and we got the swing set and the propane tank up here. I mean, yeah, it looks very cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's a piece of plastic pipe with ping pong balls okay. cut into. Wow, that's a great idea. And uh, is this a chicken coop back yeah, here? Yeah, okay. chicken house. That was one like my grandma had, so I put a chicken house in it. And uh, boy, this is a nice, it must be really nice to have a replica of the house yeah. you grew up in. And Looks like it's Christmas time with some candy canes out front. Yeah, and if you go inside the one window there, you can see a Christmas tree. It's a little hard to see. But... Yeah, we got the icicles hanging down here, and there's like the Christmas tree inside, and that's just a, a lot of great detail. I got the old TV antenna up yep. top. And... Yeah. With the kids playing in the snow, and built a little sled for them. There. Bird feeder. Got the garage. Is that a Bronco back there? Yeah, 73 Bronco and then the 70 Chevelle. Nice. Underneath the over right there. And then uh, the driveway is getting cleaned out by uh, uh, I 806. 806 International. I built the blade and put the heat housing on it. And, uh, we got the trees. It looks like one's gotten cut down recently. Yeah. One, one. Found that stump. That well, looked like a good stump there on the hillside. Sure. So. It looks like a nativity scene for Christmas yeah. again. Got the uh, snow back over here. With snow shovel, wreath. Now, now, what is this uh, building here? Uh, that's is that a well house? Well house. Okay. No matter the time of year, you got to water your cattle. Yeah. The barn was my uncle's. I wanted to do one with the lower level in it like that, and that was the only one I was ever around that really had to basement in it. So. Got the cattle down in there. Now coming around to the front I guess is a kind of a bank barn. Yeah with a... yeah you could I'm not sure you could drive in that one it was kind of up about a foot off the ground. Sure. It's no longer there anymore. It's that is there. you know that's the nice thing about model farming yeah. is to re create that history because yeah when I get done with this I'm thinking about giving that barn to one of my cousins that that, that was our barn. So we come back here. Uh, looks uh, like we got a machine shed. Yeah, small machine shed. Got the plow outside. Wagon inside, and then I got another tractor sitting in there. And it uh, looks like they also have some hogs. Yeah, put a little hog operation in the farrowing now. Sows on one side and feeder pigs on the other. Looks like somebody must have the fun job of um, filling the, up that spreader. The whole house out, <laughs> filling it up. Not a fun chore anytime, but probably no. not extra good at well, this much snow and cold. In the winter time, at least it wouldn't smell quite as bad and there wouldn't be many flies. Now I got the guy out there feeding the hogs. You got a grain bin? And yeah. So did you um, use plaster cloth yeah, up here on well, top of the snow? Yeah, cardboard snow. and plaster okay. to build it up, and then I used model railroad snow on top of everything. Mm. The snow was actually the easy part. Looks like we got a chicken and a few geese uh, checking things yeah, out. Getting some the corn. Waste grain there. Come back and get a good look at inside the barn here. Thank you for the tour okay. and uh, bringing this out to the show. I hope we'll see some more projects from you. Well, 
I don't know. I'm gonna have yep. to think up something. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Well, might retire. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully not. It looks good. So. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.